one thing I just want to say, I'm, I'm listening to all this amazing work. There's so much opportunity at BU with all these different programs. And uh, a little bit about myself, I like to connect the dots. If there's one thing I know how to do well is to look at the resources I have and then to scratch my head and says, okay, here is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to connect it together. So let me tell you why this is important. Um, the problem we are trying to solve, the problem that NSF is trying to solve, is to broaden participation in computing. That problem, let's acknowledge, is bigger than any one of us. Just all the wonderful projects you have done are efforts, but on their own, they're not going to work. And NSF realized that from the perspective of individual projects. NSF is a basic, they support basic research. They give money to a faculty. It says, okay, we have boring participation. What should we do? You tell us what is the intellectual impact of your research. Tell us what's your broader impact of your research. And part of that is how are you going to solve that problem? For 20 years in computer science, every faculty comes up with their idea. Here's my research, and this is why it's going to change the world. And of course, it doesn't change the world because it's only two, three years of research. So NSF decided a number of years ago, no, that doesn't work. What we need is an institution should develop an idea. The institution here is BU, all of us. And then faculty who sub present a project to NSF will tell us how they hook up to what the institution is doing. So when I look at all of this and say, okay, we have a lot happening at BU. How can we thread all of this together so that now the next faculty from computer science, data science, systems engineering, you name it, when they submit a grant and they have to answer that question, they figure out a way to plug into what is in the system. So the challenge now is, thank you to Gloria and her team and for having this event. Now we know about each other. Now can we come up with a narrative that connects all the pieces, or at least, and it could be multiple groups of things. It doesn't have to be one thing. But then next year, when a faculty wants to submit a proposal, they figure out how they put in their resources. And there are two things that you want to offer faculty. When a, when a faculty has a proposal, tell them to fund your initiative from the money of NSF. NSF knows that unless you ask for money and you take it out of your project and towards a goal, then it's just lip service. So one way to know that they're actually contributing, are they funding something that they're gonna contribute to? And the second thing is find a role for them in what you do. It's not just about the funding. What, how are they gonna help? You know, every one of these projects that you described, there is a place for faculty and it's, you have to think about what should I ask the faculty to do as part of the research. So I'm going to stop here and say, this is the beginning. It takes a village. This is the first step. I'm hoping that we continue this discussion and bring in others that may not be here today. Hopefully within a, you know, the next number of months, Ziba is taking the lead on this to just come up with the big picture, if you want, that, that we can develop an institutional broadening participation in computing plan for people. Thank you for being here. The tap is next.